Good morning. God bless you, folks. Thank you for joining us today and uh, subscribing. We are going off the charts here, which is a blessing from God. Amen. It just it makes me feel <clears throat> so good. It's always good to be used of the Lord. Amen. And I'm getting so, so much love and comments and prayers. Tomorrow, or pardon me, Today's Sunday. I'm recording this for Tuesday, but uh, I will be getting with my prayer partner on Monday, and we're going to have to put together uh, a video about uh, asking for some more intercessors. We have so many prayer needs, so many people writing, and as wonderful as these words are from the throne room and ministering to us the word of God, amen, uh, that's what it's about. But also, I've promised to pray for people. Amen. So I have to figure this out tomorrow, uh, Monday with my prayer partner. We're going to probably ask for some intercessors and send some of these names out to the intercessors that will promise to lay hands on their list. I'll send you names. I think this is how I'm going to do it. Send you names in your email, perhaps 50 and then you go through and pray every day and name as many names as you can and lay your hands on that prayer list. I think that's how we're going to do it. But I'll put up a video later this week on that because we're getting so many names and, and I'm thrilled. I'm thrilled because that's what it's all about, connecting with one another, the remnant, praying for one another and getting together and, and getting these words from the throne room to encourage us to let us know, you know, what the Lord is seeing in these last days, lining up with the word of God. Amen. So good things coming. I'll be uh, speaking on a short later this week and pleading for intercessors that would be faithful to take some of these names every single day. So I want you to be thinking about it. And if you're willing to just uh, pray every day, lay your hands on that list, some of the names. I probably won't send the needs, uh, but I will definitely send names, amen, so that these people are covered in prayer as I promised, amen. So today I have a word, uh, humility brings life and pride brings death, amen. So uh, this word isn't for everybody that's listening, but if you can leave a comment, if this word pricks your spirit and you know it's God grabbing you by your shirt collar here like he does in our lives, amen, then if you feel safe and commenting, I'd appreciate it because this is one of these words that God's chasing a few here and, and not all, but all of us can bear witness with this word, amen. So I'm going to read to you out of Psalm 75. And I'll read one through seven today, I think. We give thanks to thee, O God, we give thanks, for thy name is near. Men declare thy righteous works. When I select an appointed time, it is I who judge with equity. The earth and all who dwell in it melt. It is I have firmly set its pillars. I said to the boastful, do not boast. And to the wicked, do not lift up your horn. Do not lift up your horn on high. And do not speak insolent pride. For um, not from the east or nor the west, nor from the desert comes ex exaltation. But God is the judge. He puts down one and exalts another. <clears throat> Sorry, folks. I've got a raspy throat here. So uh, this word is dealing with pride. Uh, again, it's not for everybody. Many of you are right smack dab in the middle of God's will. But we're getting new and new, more and more subscribers. And maybe someone has uh, come into this channel uh, that you know, this word's going to witness to, and that's what we're here for. We're here to allow God's Holy Spirit to prick your spirit, to witness, uh, to cause you to perhaps repent, to pray, and then the rest of us, we listen, we grow, and we pray for others. Amen? So let me start this word here, and I called it, Humility Brings Life and Pride Brings Death. 
Oh, praise his name, dear ones. Oh, lift up your hands, dear ones, for he is the mighty one. All glory and honor to the king of kings. All majesty belongs to him. Oh, rebellious ones, how your pride has destroyed all those around you. How proud pride has destroyed nations. How he has longed to pour down his love and goodness upon you. How he has been waiting for you. Uh, for your brokenness, pardon me, how he has been waiting for your brokenness to bring you to your knees. Oh, foolish and prideful one. It is written, your pride will not only fail you, but your pride will take you unto death. I have waited over all time for you to come to me. Many have heard my call and many have come. Many have been touched beyond belief with my goodness, my love, and my power. Yet it is written, the pride of many will bring up about their death. O oh, foolish and prideful men, you believe all will continue, that I am not who my word speaks of. Oh, how foolish you are this day, believing that I will continue to wait. I am the God who created you. I give you life. I've waited and I have watched you. I have been and will always be. I am a forever God. Oh, come in humility. I am a forever God for those that choose their way. The way is eternal damnation. Yes, people, I call now with a loud voice. Time is short. You must heed my voice. Choose my path, my way, my spirit. Time is upon a dying land. Hear my voice, almighty. And this is a pretty stern word, folks, but I believe as we have sin and pride, all of whatever sin we're dealing with, whatever sins in our life, you know, it, it can go deeper and deeper when it's not dealt with. So if there's some pride in your life in this, the Lord, the Holy Spirit has grabbed you by your collar to bring you back for a reality check. Please obey. Please get down on your knees. All you have to do is repent. It's not a place where uh, most of us have not been. And I would venture to say all of us in our pride, it, it has stumbled us and kept us from God. So heed his word is the voice of the Lord spoke. Heed his word today. So let me pray for you. Uh, and then I want to pray for all the rest of the folks and for their families and their children and their loved ones. Lord, I pray that you would deal with the few here, that that word bears witness, Lord God, that Lord, show them the way to repentance, Lord God, you are so full of grace and mercy. And in our humanness, sometimes, Lord, we have to be grabbed by our shirt collars and brought back for a reality check, Lord. So I know that you're dealing with some today, maybe just a few, Lord God, and Lord God, thy will be done in their life today, Lord God. Put them on their knees, Lord God, and with your Holy Spirit, Lord God, show them the errors of their way, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you that you are a God, a Father that loves us, a Father that disciplines us, and a Father that wants us to move forward and closer to you. And without that discipline, Lord God, we would be a wayward child. Amen. So deal with those today, Lord God, that are struggling with pride, Lord God. Show them their way. And Lord, for the rest of the folks today, Lord, I pray the blood covering. I pray that you heal your people today, Lord God. I pray that you fill your people today, Lord God. I pray, Lord God, that you fill their pantries and their, put their money in their pockets, Lord God, that they do not struggle, that you see that their needs in the natural, Lord God, and you see in the spirit, Lord God, and minister your love and your grace and your mercy in their lives today. Angels around their homes, angels around where they each travel, Lord God, watch over their loved ones, watch over their children, guide our children, guard our children and our grandchildren. The blood covering be upon your people today in Jesus name, in Jesus name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. 
So God bless you today, people. God bless you. God be with you. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for kindness and your comments. And we're praying. I will get back to you later this week. We need help. We have so many prayer names in our journal. It's it's getting out of our control, but God's on the throne. And I know there are intercessors waiting to join us. Amen. So God bless you today. God keep you safe and walk in his grace and his mercy in Jesus name. God bless you folks. God bless you.